Yo, Dad. Dad. Oh, what's up, man? Yo, I'm home, Dad. Ah! Let's oh, go. God. We're the back. The prodigal son. We're back. What's up, kid? We're back for good. Pop's got an absolute <laughs> monster in his hand. 13,000. Look at this. 98.99 owed to 1961. Kobe Bryant. Wow. There's a real common version of this that is maybe 15, 20 bucks max. But there was also one that was limited to 61 copies. I don't ever remember having this in the store. So that's number 10 of 61. Came out of BGS9. Very, very, very tough card to find. Got a feeling we'll find a home for pretty quick. You're walking around, the showcases are alphabetical. We just put a lot of care into them, basically. Where are you from, sir? Uh, Indonesia, Jakarta. You came from Indonesia just to see Rob? Burbank sports cards had fun. <laughs> what a, what a this weekend. Guy. Dude, it's been, I've had so much fun this week. This place is fun to begin with, but yeah. you're taking it up a knot. Basically, with the fishbowl, uh, we pulled out the three showcases that were here. I see this. And it looks set up, different. Set up tables here for all the value graded cards because people love to sit and go through these things. A um, few little tweaks to the showcases as far as the vintage goes. Yeah, just little tweaks everywhere. But well, what was the take to take out the showcases? What? Because what, I remember it had like thirty, seventy, hundred dollar cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still so have the transition? them. It just it, it, they just moved over here. Two baseball showcases here now. It's fifty dollars and under, and just trying to keep the cases full. So these two of these that were here went there. We moved the couch from here to over there, so you have um, you the can uh, chill over there. The third showcase came over here. This wasn't here before. And what we built are the two most popular showcases in the store. These are the sneak preview showcases. This is raw and this is graded. So what happens here is approximately 250 cards between the two showcases. Every morning I pull these cards. They go to George who gets them databased and imaged. We debut them on Instagram Live at 6 and they push to our website at 7.15. I will come in tomorrow morning and we will add another 250 cards. We do it Monday through Friday. So these two showcases rotate, I don't know, 260, 270 times a year. So it's pretty damn cool. It's a ton of work. There's a lot of good stuff in here too. Yeah, literally this stuff lasts a day. So every single day this gets yanked and goes online. What made you come up with sneak preview? Like, what did people, you notice? People want first crack at the cards. So this is our way of saying, A, you need to come in the store every single damn day, because I don't show people what these cards are. Creates a little bit of FOMO. Cards that are left over tonight, since this is Tuesday, George is working on the cards. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna shove this dude out of the way. Sorry, sir. These guys. And then, um, so then those cards will go into this showcase. These will get pulled into general inventory and we do it every single day. Literally, there's at least three brand new showcases every single day. You get the two sneak previews and then you get the new arrival case as well. And then we're always filling bullet holes in all the different showcases. So on average, we probably add 500 new cards to the showcases every damn day. And how much of the new arrivals is getting purchased online versus in person? We sell at least half of the cards within the first 24 hours out of that 250. Wow. So the velocity in which we sell cards is crazy. So basically our customers get first crack at it. We go on Instagram live, we show the cards off and people know they're going online to our eBay store as well as BurbankCards.com at 715. So everybody gets a shot at the cards. We create the liquidity with the people selling to us. And then of course we uh, give them the best selection on the planet. Let's see what Jordan's up to over let's here. See, see. This is Friday. Okay. It's kind of a light day. Ours is Tuesday. Jesus. Um, so you can see these are the people that we've done deals with so far um, as we've been open about three hours. You can see the amounts of cards that he's building up. 
Usually he's already put these in the triple shoe and put them in my office. But yeah, this is the velocity we buy at every single day. We need to feed the beast because it's hard to come up with 250 fresh premium cards every single day. So Jordan, when he's here, his whole job is to buy. Ray's usually buying as well. Ryan will do some buying. Colin, when he's around, will do buying if we need. Andrew can do buying. If you're not buying, you're dying. If this industry doesn't have liquidity, we don't have much of an industry. And of course, everything comes through me. They put it in my office. I make sure everything goes where it's supposed to go. Things that are right here, could conceivably be on tomorrow's IG Live at six o'clock. What do we got in the showcase, Rob? So this showcase was built this morning. None of these cards were here. Um, of course, the cards that were here and got yanked, they're going online tonight. So this is a fresh showcase. I mean, Burbank is just the center of liquidity in the industry. Whoa. That's probably the best card um, that we put out, um, that we bought uh, in the last 24 hours or so. And we sold whatever card was right there. I have no idea what it was. But the things that really sell for us and we're seeing it, it. are just graded cards in the 80 to $250 range. Why do you think? Why do you think that is? Because there was a time when 1,000 to 2,500 was hotcakes. No, but now it's kind of like now it's dropped a bit. And this I, is safer too. Look at this. Yeah, this. Oh, that's yeah. That's where people want to be is cards like that right now. And of course, the repackers play a huge role in what's going on right now. Is that a good uh, thing or a bad thing? Um, it's a good thing for me because it provides a liquidity and we can sell them 100 graded cards at a time um, for good money. Um, it's a bad thing because people are still infatuated with um, fractionalized gambling. It's not signed, is it? No, oh, no it's Tawny SSB. Dodgers card. Look at that. Tell me about that. Yeah, Jordan, tell me about it. I don't tell me about it, Jordan. Let's see it. SSB from Topps now. Oh, it's got the kanji uh, nameplate right there. Wow. It, there's only been a couple sales on it. But. Yeah, well, we literally just got that. That's in the sneak preview. Of course, that'll go online tomorrow night. So um, I'm sure I'm sure Otani to the Dodgers instead of the Angels is probably a bigger boom for the market, right? You know, the funny thing about all this is something like this happens. The amount of marketing that our hobby gets and in turn a shop like ours gets is staggering. But we don't have to pay for it. I call it the amplification of sport. Taco Bell needs to sit there and have tons of marketing out there because there isn't a news channel dedicated to tacos. Something like this happens in this market, it's tremendous for us. Mm. And uh, you know, it's it's just unique, I think, to the hobby, and which is really cool. But that Otani is sick. Because, you know, you got Muhammad Ali there. You gotta pull that out, let's see. Yeah, it's something you don't see every day. So yeah, this stuff is just all, this showcase is all fresh, raw stuff that we picked up in the last 24 to 36 hours. These are cool. It gets processed right away. Look at that. And for, and for a Giants fan, that's pretty amazing right there. Wow, that's so cool. Madison Bumgarner, is that game used? Wow. Yeah, it's a patch, it's pretty ridiculous. So yeah, there's just all kinds of stuff that comes through. But the thing is, it's one thing to buy it, it's another thing to turn it around quickly, have it processed, get it into a showcase, get it online and get it sold. Selling quickly, I think the key is coming to Burbank, putting your name on a list and having one of my three world-class buyers take care of you. Yeah. And I think that's it. People are like, how do I get the most money for cards? And I'm, it's simple, sell them on eBay yourself. The problem is nobody wants to do the work. And so people just want to get paid quickly, fairly they come to Burbank it's all day last Saturday we had 50 names on that list we got through 50 different people wow. um, with three buyers deals that were triple shoes Zion cases single cards vintage that doesn't include unopened product that would have come in as well so if their showcases aren't fresh why would customers come on any kind of regular basis to see it? Steve what's the problem no, this came is back a, a grade two. Well, no, hold on. Was it a reholder or what was it? Because the serial number, whose card is it? Uh, Customers up front? Yeah, customer up front, yeah. This is a two? Uh, it's probably, cre it's gotta be creased. Let me see. Dude, it's messed up. I think it's sh uh, on the back. I think you can I, turn it. I didn't even look at it. I think like, look at it on the side. Steve, what do you think is wrong with it? Well, it's, I mean, it there's a, fine. there's like a line here. I mean, if you look at that, there's like a big scratch on it. Did that person submit through you guys? Yeah. No, no, oh, not no? through us, oh, no. I, know. I know, I know. They're just trying to wonder what's wrong with it? Yeah. We just bought these two boxes full of slabs, full of 
nice inventory. And now and, you uh, give them to Rob. And Rob, what happens Rob. now? I let him do the work, you know. Well, he needs, he needs to well, work a little. Well, yeah, bit. yeah, because I'm a slacker. I raised the hardest working guy here. He's here before we open. He's here well after we close, right, Ray? Yep. Every single damn day. Yep. Yeah, you get here early. His car's here first. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so and look at this. This has got to be some fire in here. Oh yeah, I don't even know, man. But yeah, this is from this morning. Um, oh, Kobe. Yeah. So. Jordan. Pippen. Yeah. So they pay. They put what they pay on it. And then they'll sit there and put next to it what they want to mark it at. And basically what I'll do is I'll get up, make sure all the stuff's bagged. After they've written down what to sell it for, I'll get the stuff all gunned. Buy five or six of these boxes a day. And we need to keep feeding the beast in this place. So yeah, we've only been buying a couple hours. We've already filled those two. I know there's more up front. There was never a time where you're not buying, right? Oh, never. In the last 34 years, we've always been buying. So, have you ever like seen like buying as a bad time or never? No, if you're not buying, you're not fresh. If you're not fresh, you're out of business. Um, this business right now is um, shifting from boxes to singles. And we've been seeing that trend now for like the last eight months, especially. And we've always been positioned to handle that. Um, our warehouse, we went to a free shipping model on eBay where every single of our 2.6 million different listings on eBay is now free shipping, wow. which has just literally changed the game. So we're constantly getting fresh merchandise over there. Um, all the newest of products are getting into the database, priced, scanned um, online. We're just seeing a major shift. I think people are just getting smarter with their money because of the economy and what's going on right now. They're not just flinging money willy nilly and not getting the satisfaction of what they're looking for they're actually starting to build collections and yeah. starting hobby journeys and getting into this for all the right reasons. You know, it's just fractionalized gambling cannot be the forward face of this industry. It needs to be the hobby. And I think at Burbank, we try to present that as best as possible. Inputting into the computer. <laughs> Stand busy. Yeah. Good good year for cards, right? 2024? Yeah, not bad. It's a good start. Yes. Good start. That's what I like yeah. to do. Put some cool wax. Coming out the next day or two. Okay. 23 Absolute. Football. Coming out very soon. Tomorrow. Ooh, that'll be fun. Bowman Chrome U. That's going to be big. The LeBron yeah. James and his son. Mm -hmm. Try to pull the one of one. I heard it was Wendy's. Yeah, I just got some... Went well, most of them are on my office, actually. I'm just... Finally getting around to putting them all in one place. The kid's pretty good. Yeah, the kid's wow, pretty you, good. Wow, you really, look at all these Wembies. These are just recent things that have come in and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna probably send some off for grading. So I wanted to get them all in one place, buy card and take a look at them and send them off because they sell a lot better graded than Ron. So I just need to get these in motion and take a quick look at them, so. Who are you grading with? SGC. Yeah. yeah. Cheap yeah. rate? Yeah, it's they take care of me, but more importantly, we get to buy and sell the cards in the actual current market. I can't wait two, three months for cards to come back. I need stuff to come back in five days. So um, these will come back in five days. Well, they'll have them there for five days, but you know, we next day I'm there, they next day I'm back, and uh, and they're quick. So yeah, it's okay. it's worth it. Got new arrivals wax. Twenty twenty three collegiate football. Immaculate Football Hobby, National Treasures, National Treasures Basketball, Flawless Collegiate, that's pretty cool, Immaculate UFC, Bowman Draft, Finest, this 0506 Tops, it's a Jay-Z in it, $45 a pack, Brown James Rookie, 12500 What's the best box to open today? Top Scrum Update. Who would you pick at all these expensive ones? If I bought you a box, what would you- 19 Bowman Draft. What? 19 Bowman Draft. What? Adley, Gunner, Corbin Carroll. It's got a lot of the big names in there. I don't know, I think those are three guys who are well worth the hunt right now. Who's the next big name in baseball? Wyatt Langford, Texas Rangers. Wyatt Langford? 23 Bowman Draft, they'll be in the majors. All right, how, okay, how about current stars? Who's gonna go off? They were gonna have an, an Otani down year this year. Are you serious? That's, that's a start. Tony's gonna have a down year. Do you believe it? <laughs> yeah, George knows it. George knows it. Why do you think Otani's gonna have a down year? It's not gonna be able to handle that pressure. Angel Stadium, Dodger Stadium, minor leagues, major leagues. Day and night. Well, the boxes are here if you wanna chase it. All right, and tell, me, tell us your names. 
Did, uh, I'm. That's Max. I'm Ty. Max and Ty. Ty. And you guys like Pokemon? Yeah. So yeah. tell them your favorite Pokemon. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. That's because cool. Because Charizards are overrated. Wow. And how about you? Skeledodge. Skeledodge? Yeah. Okay. And are you guys going to buy any Pokemon today? Yep. What are you going to buy? Max, the $8 pack, and I'm going to buy my $3 pack. For me. For you. Well, I told you guys, you guys got to get Mike Trout or Otani to sign your hats now. If you guys could own any Pokemon I card, what would you want? Oh. The, the base set. The, the base set Charizard. Base set Charizard. The base set Charizard. All right, get the base set Charizard. I can't. It's really One hard day to you pull. can. One day you can. One day when I like four. Okay. I'm still gonna be. We made like two hundred dollars from just cleaning the house. And you got, and then what do you guys do with the money? Buy Pokemon cards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. I bought that that one, the hundred dollar Charizard. I box. bought two. Yeah, because my taxes. You. I mean, he he bought like four boxes of the forty dollars. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Well, that's cool, guys. Thanks for sharing. Good to meet you guys. Boom. You guys are Dodger fans, right? Yeah. You gotta see if you got any Dodgers. Let's see if we got any Dodgers, guys. No, I didn't get any. I'm Dodgers. Wait, I'm gonna spread them. Oh, wait, let me see this. Yeah. Hey, Bill, come here. I got a card for you. I went to high. I went to high school with him. You went to high school with Reese Hoskins. Yeah, in middle school. Did you really? Yeah, he's a good guy. That's pretty cool. Sacramento. What is this? Free agent right now. Oh, look at that. These are just Wait, all. Fernando Tatis, let me see. Good. Rookies. Okay. Look at that. Tatis. Ooh, Babe Ruth. Yeah, Babe Ruth. You pulled a Babe Ruth. Look at that. That's cool. Probably like five seconds. That's, That's a good card. The, how much is it? I don't know. I could ask him, Billy, how much is it? Why is that always the first question these days? <laughs> wait, wait. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys at the Burbank Card Show in February. You guys got to be there. Come hang out. Come to the Kids Hangout event on Saturday. I'll be hosting it. Rob will be there. I'll be there. It's going to be a great time. And you guys, I'm going to be at Burbank Cards twice a week from here on out as I live in LA. You guys can come hang out. Come do some deals or talk shop with me or Rob about sports cards. And if you guys can't make it out, check me out on whatnot. Use the link down below. You get your first $10 spend on me. We're live two to three times a week. I can't wait to see you guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.